Welcome. It's uh, after school, and I want to show you how to do a problem. So here we go. We have f of x equals 5 minus 7 halves x minus 3 x squared. So in determining n behavior, right, we we're concerned about the degree, and we're also concerned about the leading coefficient. So the first thing I need to do is put it in descending order, or put our degree always first. We want to put it in our form of f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. That's what we call like descending order, where we have our highest degree first, and then we go in descending order from there. So this function can be rewritten as f of x equals negative 3x squared minus 7 halves x plus 5. All right. Now, don't really be too concerned about the coefficient, the numbers, fractions, decimals. It doesn't really matter. All we're going to be concerned about is our degree, which is our highest exponent, which in this case is equal to 2 and our leading coefficient, which is your coefficient of your leading term, which in this case is negative 3. So what we're concerned about the degree, if it's even or odd, depending on if it's even odd, is going to tell us what the end behavior can do. And then the leading coefficient, we're going to determine if it's positive or negative. Because between our options of an even or an odd, the positive or negative is going to really zero down what we need to know. So look at, look at, let's look at this. We have an even degree. So that tells me my graph's end behavior it doesn't matter what number it is. If it's even, they all have the same end behavior. If it's even, its end behavior is either going to rise left, rise right, or fall left, fall right. Now, since my leading coefficient is negative, by the leading coefficient test, I know my graph is going to fall left and fall right. So my graph is going to look something like this, which we say falls left and then falls right. But it's important for us also to understand that x, f of x, infinity, negative infinity, negative infinity, infinity, right? As these lines keep on going, extending out, that goes to infinity, that goes to negative infinity. So you could say the x values, as I keep on going on the x values of my function, so as, why do I keep on writing x? As my x values approach infinity. So as I go to the right, where does my graph go? My graph goes to negative infinity. f of x goes to, approaches negative infinity. And then over here, as x approaches negative infinity, so as I keep on going to the left to negative infinity, f of x approaches negative infinity as well. Keeps on going down. So there it goes, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you uh, use the leading coefficient test for a polynomial. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.